this video we're going to create a filter in Google Apps Script that has multiple criteria and multiple criteria columns. So what you see here is the finished product of what we're going to build today. I have a data set of loan records and over here to the right I have two criteria values. I have auto for the loan type which is column B and branch number two for the branch location column D and when I press this filter button what will happen is it will filter this data set based on these two criteria values and copy the data from that filter to a brand new sheet so I'm going to press it and there it is on a brand new sheet we have filtered for the loan type of just auto and the location of just branch number two so the first thing we want to do is go up to tools and script editor. This try the new script editor box will appear. I still prefer the old one. So I'm going to name my project, my filter and name the function the same thing. I'm going to begin with a variable called SS that represents the spreadsheet we're in now. So this is going to be equal to the spreadsheet application get active spreadsheet I'm gonna have a variable called loan sheet which represents this sheet that contains the data we want to filter the name of that sheet is called loans so that's going to be equal to our spreadsheet variable and then get sheet by name and the sheet name is loans we have a variable for the data range, the data set of loan records we want to filter. So we'll just call this D range. And this is going to be equal to our loan sheet variable. And then get range. We want to begin in row two because we don't want to look at the headers begins in column one and then the number of rows could change we might add records we want this to be dynamic so we're going to refer to our loan sheet variable and then get last row that will always get the last row containing values the number of columns is four and then after that we want to get the values now we're going to have two criteria variables that represent the values stored in F2 and G2 are criteria for the filter. So we'll call the first one criteria one and that is going to be equal to our loan sheet variable again get range. This time we'll just use A1 notation. First criteria is in cell F2 and we want to get the value singular because it's a single cell. For the second one, I'm just going to copy what we created already, change this variable name to criteria two and change our cell reference to G2. So now we want to create a variable called filtered data, which is going to represent our filtered data range based on our criteria. So this is going to be equal to our data range variable and then we're going to apply the filter method to that and that allows us to pass a function in this parentheses here so this begins with the keyword function and then the syntax that you're used to seeing for a function in this parentheses we're just going to list a variable uh, most folks use e which short for element it just represents each element in your two-dimensional array and it's actually the outer elements which in a 2d array that's the collection of rows so in this set of curly brackets is where we perform the action so we want to return something it begins with the keyword return and what we want to check here is look at column B see if there are values equal to F2 which is our criteria one also look at column D and see if there are values equal to 
our value in G2. So one thing to keep in mind in apps script when you're referencing rows or columns in an array variable, the count begins at zero. So this first column is column zero, this is column one, column two, column three. So our criteria columns are column one and three. So we reference our E elements variable, which by itself is the row. If we want to get to the column, we have to add brackets next to it. So our first criteria column is column one, which is column B. And we want to check to see if that is equal to our criteria one variable. So now we have a second condition and to add a second condition here what we need to use is a double and and I'm just going to copy this and change it so we have our second criteria which is column four but in app script that would be column three and we want to check to see if that is equal to our criteria two and return it if so so once we have our filtered data array variable, we want to add a new sheet. So we're going to add a variable called new sheet. That is going to be equal to our spreadsheet application and then insert sheet. On this new sheet, we want to get range. We want to begin in row two because we might add headers from our original sheet. So we want to begin in column one. The number of rows, well, that depends on our filtered data variable and needs to be dynamic and match the dimensions of that array variable. So for the number of rows, we're going to reference our filtered data and then get the length of that. That will get us the number of rows. The number of columns is four. We want to set the values equal to our filtered data variable. Now, I know when we add this new sheet, we're going to need to format column C. So on our new sheet variable again, we're going to get range and reference column C and set number format to an accounting style format. We also want to add headers to our new filtered sheet. So then I add one more variable called headers. That is going to be equal to our loan sheet. range and this is just a fixed range so we can use the a1 notation that's just going to be a1 through d1 and get the values so on our new sheet again we just want to get the range set the values equal to our headers variable. So I'm going to hit save, I'm going to hit run. We're going to be required to review permissions and after we review the permissions and run this we should see a new sheet get added with our filtered data. So I'm going to review permissions, click on the Google account I'm using, go to advanced, scroll down to my project name, scroll down again, and then click allow. So 
you can see there is our filter based on auto and branch number three so now if we want to add this to a script button to make it a little more automated we can go to insert an image or drawing I should say drawing we want to click on shapes I usually use a rectangle draw it there and then click in it and you can add a description and then hit save and close and move it anywhere you like and then click on this options button at the top right assign a script and assign it your function name the function name was my filter so I'll click OK and maybe we'll change this to branch 2 and we should see a new sheet get added with this filter criteria and there it is so that is all for now thanks for watching please remember to subscribe